Hey everybody, welcome to Simple Hobby Homesteading and day two of our 40 day challenge. Uh, you can see I'm in the barn with a few little baby goats. Aren't they cute? <laughs> I love them. Um, so what happened today, day two? Uh, I woke up thinking, what am I gonna have for breakfast? Um, I'm already getting a little tired of greens and eggs and right now that's what we have a ton of on the farm. And so um, I just kind of thought, okay, what can I do with greens or with eggs? That's a little different. Um, I was looking for something sweet, uh, just waking up wanting something sweet. And so I had a really good idea for French toast and came up to the garden um, just to kind of look and see if there's anything I could have with my French toast. And I found our one strawberry bed that I thought had gotten destroyed uh, by the hickory tree that came down. Actually, it's got uh, quite a few good uh, strawberry plants in it still. So I'm going to transplant those into the garden so the rabbits don't eat all of them uh, because that hickory tree took uh, down off, I was going to say off the fence, took down the fence, um, excuse me, that was around uh those strawberries so but i did find some nice big strawberries so i'm like oh that is so perfect with french toast a bowl of strawberries wonderful and so with for the french toast oh hold on those stupid chicks are in my carrots i'm gonna have to go get them out of the carrots in a minute uh so it's gonna be a short video um actually you know what let's go get them out of the carrots now because i really i really don't want them in the carrots okay chicky chickies do you guys look at their, oh, they're not really hurting the carrots, I guess. They're flattening them down a bit. Here, you guys can come, come on out, chicky chickies. Come on out. I'm gonna let them come out of the garden space, I think. Come on, chicky chickies. We're gonna let them out of the garden space. Yeah. Okay, so let's come back over here. All right, so, um, what was I talking about? Oh, strawberries. So I went and got um, a nice bowl of strawberries and now we have chicks just all over that's okay that's wonderful um but anyways so got a nice bowl of strawberries and for the french toast um i did have some bread left in the the bread drawer or whatever so i sliced up some bread and um for the batter i did eggs and goat's milk cinnamon and some sugar and some of our homemade vanilla um or vanilla extract it's it's real vanilla extract so is that, yeah, it's not synthetic, it's real, but it's still called vanilla extract. I was thinking, is the extract makes, no, it's real. It's pure vanilla extract made with vodka and vanilla beans. Um, so it's, it's homemade. But, um, and so French toast with a bowl of strawberries and coffee. Okay, so for this whole 40 day challenge, I'm doing another little tweak where I am allowing myself coffee because we all, um, well, we all wanna survive and I don't wanna hurt anybody. And so coffee makes me sane. <laughs> So I am saying that I can have coffee. Even though I don't grow it here on the farm, I'm doing coffee. Um, so yes, deal with that. But um, let's see, so strawberries, French toast, and that actually filled me up for a long time. Uh, but then Jackson wanted to take us out for lunch, and so I was like, sure. I mean, he's just so sweet. He wanted to go to Best Buy, and he knew that kind of sweetening the deal would be lunch. Um, and so, and I want to take the boys out for lunch too. Originally, I kind of wanted to take them out for lunch. I had talked about it weeks ago and we just hadn't gotten around to it yet. And, but when we got there, he was like, no, I want to pay for lunch. And so I'm like, okay. So we did go to the Olive Garden this afternoon. Um, I just had a little lunch portion of some shrimp or chicken scampi, or yeah, chicken scampi, and then um, just some salad. And I did have a breadsticker too. <laughs> but so, but that was the other tweak that when our family goes out to eat, which doesn't happen very often, but when our family goes out to eat, then that is a, that's just a grace filled kind of thing where I'm going to give myself the grace to eat um, off the homestead. If I travel, I'm going to give myself the grace to eat away from the homestead. Um, so those are going to be some special circumstances. And it just so happened it was on day two of this challenge. But um, so, oh my goodness, little goats, what are you doing? They're like, we're just getting into everything. What are you guys doing? What are you doing? Um, and so that's what I had for a late lunch. And then I came home and I cooked supper for everybody. And I really was not hungry. I was still like stuffed to the gills. But with everybody else eating, I kind of, 
I don't know, I wanted to munch on something and I would have uh, normally grabbed chips or some Chex Mix or something like that. Uh, and I didn't want to do that, of course, because that's not homemade. It's not homegrown. And so I did grab um, the kale chips that I made yesterday on day one. And I put the video up today of how to make those kale chips. So go check that out. I made those yesterday on day one of the 40-day the challenge. And then I ate them uh, yesterday afternoon. I ate them last night. Um, I ate a few this morning. And I also ate some for supper. I ate a few for supper. In fact, I think I ate the rest of the Italian flavored ones, which was so good. What are you doing, little chick? We have a loud little chick. Um, so those were absolutely delicious. And they were enough to satisfy me for uh, dinner. And so I felt really great about that. Um, but they were way over seasoned. Okay, so in the video that I, how I made the kale chips, I mentioned that, you know, they might be a little over seasoned and that it's okay because some of the salt would fall off in the bag or some of the Italian seasoning would fall off in the bag. None of it fell off. <laughs> it all stuck to the kale. And so they are so good, but they're way over seasoned. So add about half or even a third of the seasoning um, that I added to them just cut back on the seasoning way uh, way cut back so not as much sea salt not as much Italian seasoning because they're way overpowering um, but it was still good I just had to drink a ton because I was so thirsty <laughs> so yeah none of the, the salt fell off when I bagged them up which is so funny but I will be making more kale chips tomorrow because I've almost eaten them all and they were really really good so uh, let's see so that's what I ate today and it was satisfying. It was fulfilling. It was satisfying. Um, I'm not sure what I would have had for lunch if we wouldn't have gone out to eat. Um, I really, when we sat down to eat at the Olive Garden, I wasn't hungry. Um, and that's why I just got a very small portion, a little small lunch portion. I didn't eat um, as much of anything that I usually do. And so it was still, it was still really nice. Um, but I probably would have, if I would have been home here, I probably would have had some kale chips. Uh, probably would have had some more strawberries, would have had some sugar snap peas and maybe like a peanut butter sandwich or something like that. Um, because we do grind um, some of our own almond butter or peanut butter. Uh, and so I, I have that here on the homestead. Um, so that's maybe what I would have had uh, is just a simple peanut butter sandwich. But um, and I probably wouldn't have had much for dinner either. Uh, we did have some uh, turkey uh, taco meat and that's what the boys had. And so I could have easily made some tortillas. Uh, but anyways, I didn't have to do that. <laughs> so it was good. Um, and I did happen to I was just out of curiosity with being really good with my food yesterday and pretty good with my food today. Um, I happened to jump on the scale and, and I just jumped on the scale like an hour or two ago. So it was in the afternoon and the evening, which um, you're usually at your heaviest. And I've actually lost another two pounds. Um, so something's working, which is good. <laughs> Uh, and I haven't exercised as much as I usually do today because it was raining all night last night and all day today it was raining. And so I really didn't do the exercise that I usually do either. Where's my goat? Oh, there's a goat, but that's lovely. Uh, but anyway, so it was really, really good. And what else? Um, day two of the challenge has gone really great. I am full of energy. I am feeling great with drinking tons of water, tons of kefir water. Uh, and feeling I haven't drank any sparkling water. Um, I'm just keeping it to regular water, uh, lime water, like that I just put water and put a lime in, uh, and my kefir water, which is lemon ginger flavored, um, and that's homemade here on the farm too. So and I did come up and milk a goat to get some milk for my um, egg, cinnamon, sugar mixture that I put on my bread for uh, French toast, and that was super, super good. Uh, so yeah, so it's been a really good day. We'll see what day three brings. Um, maybe I'll be ready to eat some more lamb's quarters tomorrow or some spinach or lettuce or... Um, I don't know, I'm gonna check. Oh, I've got two new huge hibiscus leaves that have bloomed. So I might pick those and dry those out for more tea. So that way I can have more than just one cup of tea in this 40 day challenge. Um, so other than that, guys, it's been a really great day. Really, really great day. Wonderful day two of the challenge. If any of you wanna do this challenge with me, I so would love to. Uh, and even if you don't have like a farm or a homestead or anything, maybe challenge yourself to eat um, only like, um, like stuff that you would uh, harvest off a farm. So not a lot of processed food. Uh, do a lot more fruits, vegetables, meat kind of thing, but not the processed kind. Um, so not a lot of chips, not a lot of crackers. Uh, try homemade crackers, try homemade chips. Uh, just try to get kind of creative with stuff like that, buying the ingredients at the store um, and making it at home or doing a lot more fruits, vegetables, and just 
uh, plain meats with just light seasonings. So try to maybe get away from the processed food for, for 40 days and less out to eat. Uh, I can probably guarantee you we might go out to eat one more time for like a dinner with the whole family, but there probably won't be any more lunches because we just don't do that very often uh, with me and the boys go out to lunch. Although we do go with our neighbor every other week. So we'll have to make an exception that for that too. Um, so yeah, so it was a good day, a really, really good day and I'm still loving it. So you guys all have a great day and we'll see you later. Bye-bye.